now let us discuss about RARP RARP stands for reverse address resolution protocol it is completely reverse to ARP protocol we know that ARP protocol converts logical address to physical address whereas RARP protocol converts physical address to logical address we know that physical address can also be called as mac address or this can also be called as hardware address so mac address is nothing but a unique number which is assigned to the nic of every mission nic stands for network interface card so every system will contain nic card so here physical address or mac address or hardware address is nothing but that nic card address whereas logical address is nothing but ip address let we have a network like this so here we have host 1 router 1 router 2 this is nothing but rarp server and next we have host 2 uh, here let us assume that uh, this host 1 is newly added to the network so we know only the mac address of h1 we know only the mac address of h1 but we don't know the ip address of host 1 why because this host 1 this computer is newly added to the network so we know only the mac address of host 1 but we don't know the ip address of host 1 so here our target is so by with the help of the mac address so we have to we have to retrieve the ip address so here we are converting mac address to the ip address so converting physical address to the logical address so that is nothing but rarp protocol now let's see how it will happen we know that any message will be transmitted from upper layer to lower layer let we have here host one here so uh, here this is nothing but network layer in tcp ip we can call network layer as uh, 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 internet layer on top of the network layer we will have transport layer on top of the transport layer session layer presentation application layer here the message will be transmitted from upper layer to down layers so this is nothing but host one layers so here on top of network layer we have transport layer so the message will be trans transmitted from transport layer to the network layer so from network layer to data link layer from data link layer to physical layer next via the network the message will be transmitted to the host to so first physical layer data link layer network layer like that we know that uh, in network layer the message the information will be represented in the form of packets those packets can also be called as datagrams datagrams here the heart of network layer is ip ip stands for internet protocol on top of ip we have icmp on bottom of ip we have rarp so now we know about mac address but we don't know about ip address so the internet protocol ip asks the rarp to find ip address so now it is the duty of the rarp to find the ip address based on the mac address so once it receives the request from the ip then rarp protocol prepares rarp request packet so rarp protocol prepares rarp request packet here that packet contains mac address of host one so what is the mac address of host one let the mac address of host one is m1 so it contains m1 and it contains the next field is 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0. 
So this IP address specifies that I don't know IP address. So I want IP address based on the MAC address. So 0, 0.0.0.0, .0 specifies I, uh, I don't know IP address. I want my IP address based on this uh, MAC address. Okay. Uh, so this is nothing but RARP request packet. Now that packet will be transmitted to the next layer. So after network layer, we will have data link layer. But in data link layer, the information will be represented in the form of frames. So what will happen is that packet will be encapsulated into frame. Here this is nothing but a frame. Frame. So that packet is placed inside the frame. So here what is the packet RERP request packet? It contains two fields M1 0.0.0.0 and it adds broadcast address. Data link layer adds broadcast address. We know the advantage of the broadcast address. So that address will be transmitted to all the machines on the network. So now this is a frame. So this frame contains these fields. So now what will happen is this frame will be transmitted to all the machines on the network. Okay. So to R1, the corresponding frame will be transmitted to R2. Uh, the corresponding frame will be transmitted to RARP server. The corresponding frame will be transmitted to host to the corresponding frame will be transmitted. Now let's see about what is RARP server. It is the duty of the network administrator to prepare the table for RARP server. RARP server table mainly contains two fields. The first field is MAC. Second field is IP address. So let the MAC address is M1. So for M1 address, the IP address is I1. Let MAC address is M2. So for M2, the IP address is I2. So RARP server table uh, contains the information about the MAC address and the corresponding IP addresses. So whenever R1, R2, host2 receives RARP request packet, simply they ignore that packet. Why? Because that packet doesn't belongs to them. Whereas RARP server will accept the packet. RARP server will accept the packet. Why? Because it has that information. So here uh, that packet contains M1. So here this M1 is nothing but MAC address. So what is the corresponding IP address here? I1 is the corresponding IP address. So now RARP server prepares RARP reply packet. RARP reply packet. So reply packet mainly contains two fields. The first field is MAC address M1 and what is the second field? I1. I1 is nothing but the corresponding IP address. So now RARP server unicast that packet or that frame to host1. Why? Because here RARP request packet is nothing but broadcasting. Why? Because it doesn't know uh, which mission contains the corresponding IP address. So that's why it broadcasts that message to all the missions. Whereas RARP reply packet is nothing but unicast unicast so now it knows about uh, uh, this mission host one so simply rarp server rarp server unicast that um, that packet to host one so now host one knows the corresponding ip address why because host one received this packet from the rarp server so this packet contains mac address as well as the ip address let the ip address is i1 okay so in this way, based upon the physical address, we can find the IP address. So these, this, this calculation is needed only when we are adding new host to the corresponding network. So this is about reverse address resolution protocol.